So packing up for Europe and part one of the process is packing up my apartment that I rent in Stratton. So I'm currently packing up all the things that I had all summer and fall. And part two, or no, not part two. Well, part two is then actually packing. But since I'm already packing up a lot of my stuff here, I decided to be smart, hopefully smart, and already put together what I most likely will bring to Europe so that I don't have to unpack and pack it twice again. So yeah, um, packing part one is moving from Stratton back to our house in Vermont. And then I'll pack again and go to Boston. Packing part one done, fully moved out of my place. Um, yeah, sad to leave this place. I had a really good time here, but now onwards to home. Well, I got my stuff moved in my room. Looks like a lot, and I don't think it's actually that much, but part two. Packing is unpacking at home in my closet. And then pack for Europe. My bike pretty dirty right now. It's been through a lot. Um, so I'm cleaning with my gravel and my mountain bike so that I can store it for the winter. So when I come back next spring, it is ready to ride. And now it's time to give my intense mountain bike a nice little uh, bubble bath because this has seen a lot of good. Um, to Moab, to Park City, right here. And well, and it's very dirty and easy. Okay, so I just moved myself back into Vermont and now I'm packing for Europe and I know a lot of people had a lot of questions about what do you bring when you're on the road for four and a half months straight and you have one double bag to bring and so the decisions are really hard. It takes me a while to decide what to pack and it's a bit of a game of Jenga like okay how much is my bag weigh now and can I put something here or my carry-on. Um, so I'm going to show you what I take for four and a half months on the road. Um, to give you a little bit of an idea and some of my favorite things to bring on the road and products and brands um, So hopefully this is exciting and a little bit different for people um, Since for our team it is unique. We're like one of the only teams that just ships over to Europe for the winter and doesn't come back <laughs> So here we go So to start off with um, my carry-on backpack, which I shove a lot of stuff into um, but right now like there's a computer and lap like chargers and stuff like that. But what I like to travel with is an inflatable travel pillow um, for the flight, which is really nice um, in my carry-on. And okay, so next we got down here. Um, this is my drone, which I like to use. It's really fun. And my camera bag. I'm using my camera right here right now, so it's taken out of there. And then a whole bag of chargers. I'm known to schlep around quite a bit of electronics um, since I do love video and photo stuff. So usually I like to put this in a carry-on and. It's pretty heavy stuff, but I have to keep it on me. So this usually goes in a separate carry-on, which um, I have back in Boston. So I haven't packed that yet, and I'm still using my camera. As you see, um, other electronic gadgets, polar heart rate monitor, strap, strap training, recovery tools, um, which are very important. Um, as you can see here, I have a nice cup, a few bands, metal tool, just to keep me happy. Um, some comfy hotel street shoes, besides running shoes, because I'll write the running shoes on the trail, um, yeah, track so I don't slip on the uh, icy Scandinavian stuff. And moving along, of course, probably the most important thing I would need to bring on the road, my Alpina ski boots. Um, I have very picky feet and these are the one, I've been with Alpina for nine years, this will be my 10th year. Um, so I like to put these in my carry-on because I want to make sure that I don't lose my boots and had some customizations done. and so. Um, yeah, those are probably the most important item I have to bring on the road with me. So I, on Instagram, got a question about um, what I bring for nutrition on the road. And so my short answer is never second products. Um, they're also my headgear sponsor because last year, or actually the last few years, it's been really hard for me to fuel well during ski racing because I'd have stomach issues. This is the first and only brand that has worked for me. Um, and Never Second's an incredible company and so I'm bringing a few gels for me to get across the few, first few days, but I have a shipment arriving actually there person since they're also international, which is also a really nice benefit, so I don't have to travel with it all. Um, but I have an order coming there, but I like to bring a few gels from them. Um, bike bottle, because it's light and you can just fill it up. And I feel like when I have the, the sippy top, uh, 
I tend to drink more than maybe ones I have to screw open. And then a shaker bottle for the protein um, protein powder I'm gonna get when I get hit on the road. Um, and if you actually are interested in trying the product or have had gut issues, I highly recommend this product and I get you 30% off. So if you use Julia 30, you'll get 30% off um, of any of the products. And yeah, I think it's one of the essential things I bring with me. <laughs> So another great question I was asked is, what are the last few things I debate about for bringing versus not bringing? And a lot of it's about how much weight I have at the end. I usually set a little small bag aside at the end of the maybe pile, but trying to avoid that this year. So I'm gonna show you now kind of like the distribution of clothes I bring and then what are the hard decisions for me. So for clothes, that's actually not what the majority of the weight is. It's actually all of my other gadgets and supplements and boots and stuff. But this year I've decided to go with one, two, three, for normal shirts and a like more casual t-shirt um, for the hotels. I wanted to be really cozy this winter, so a nice um, fleece and then this nice flannel fleece that I'm very excited about. Um, keep me cozy in the hotel. Um, two pairs of running shorts for working out in strength. Um, two pairs of leggings, two pairs of sweatpants because we spend a lot of time being cozy on the road in our hotel rooms. Then I got a puffy coat traveling in the big Kappa puffy coat, but this is my lighter puffy coat, um, a rain jacket and a puffy vest for layers on those colder days. Um, and then we're awaiting our, weight, our race suits in Europe, but I brought an extra pair of warm-up pants, um, this really cool trench coat we got from Kappa this year, and a pair of rain pants for when it's rainy. Okay, and then we got a Kappa long sleeve, which is good for running or base layers, um, two, three rapes, and training base layers. One's a little bit thicker, two are a little bit thinner. Um, these are sh shorts and a t-shirt for under my race suit, um, depending on warmth. We like to layer on that end. Uh, tank top and three training t-shirts, what I sleep in. Um, and that's kind of it for like the majority of clothing items. Then I have what I travel in on the travel day, which I like to do cozy pair of sweatpants, really cozy hoodie, a nice t-shirt, shorts in case it gets really hot. And then I'm wearing these Paradise Sport underwear, which um, I've become an ambassador for. They're super awesome, they stay put, they're really comfy, so I'm excited to have some comfortable underwear on travel day. So the hardest decision for me packing is how many sweatshirts and shirts I bring. Um, it's hard to know, like are the hotels gonna be hot, are they gonna be cold? Um, but I went with two really fuzzy options and some t-shirts and then the sweatshirt I'm gonna travel in. So in total, three sweatshirts. Might be a bit much, I think. And if I have to pull something out, it's gonna be probably a sweatshirt because they're pretty bulky. So last few items that I've packed here, um, one of the things I'm obviously really excited about is my Skeeta print. So brought some hats and headbands and buffs um, and a few for my teammates too, so they can rock it. But yeah, keep me warm and cozy in those training sessions. Um, which, which will be really awesome. Heated socks from uh, Thermic Cetus. Uh, Cetus makes awesome socks that I bring to ski in, but also these heated socks have been really important the last few years on the road because it's been really cold or like at the Olympics last year I was wearing these. Um, so those always come with me. And then oh, I have two base layers underneath my race suit on my legs. And then right here, I have a bag of sports bras, which now have become 100% Endura sports bras, um, including this one right here, from my friend Abby Drach, who does Endura Athletic Company. Um, she makes her own sports bras for custom bra and rib cage size. So really my favorite, they fit really well, they're really supportive, and they're cute too. Um, we have some other fun patterns, like, let's see what we got here. Um, like this one, so fun, kind of like my waves print last year, really fun and beachy. Um, so she's got all sorts of stuff out there, including ski clothing now. So um, that's been fun to be along the journey with her. Got a bag of like, supplements and medications and stuff so I stay healthy throughout the winter. And underwear, of course, which is an essential. And then I like this little travel kit of soaps and shampoos that I can travel with really lightly in my, um, in my bag. And then I can buy more when I need to fill up on the road and share with teammates. So that's pretty easy. I'm trying to think. What else we got? Um, that's the majority of it. Okay, I'm looking here at the questions that I got from Instagram. How many bags? One duffel bag. Uh, 
one backpack and a pretty large pushing the limit carry-on because I like to shove everything else in there, especially the heavier stuff and my camera stuff. How do you now get super stressed when packing? Oh, uh, packing is probably one of my least favorite things to do and you think we pack so much so that I would get less stressed about it, but when you're making decisions for four and a half months on the road straight, it feels like you don't want to mess up and you want to have the right stuff and you want to be comfy and look good and feel comfortable and you just never know what the weather is going to be. So I like to pack a little bit of everything, but then if you're, when I overpack, it becomes stressful because I have to fit it all in my bag every weekend when we move around. So um, trying my best not to overpack and my parents are coming over for Christmas. So if I really make a big mistake, they can bring some, some stuff over or I can send it back with them. So that's really nice to look forward to. Someone asked about my reading list and favorite book. I just finished a book called 10% Happier that I actually really liked and recommended. Um, I'm in the process of looking for new books. Um, Small Great Things is another book that I really enjoyed reading on the road. Um, Roar, what else? Yeah, so those are some, some things. I have a Kindle that I travel with now so that I don't have the bulk of having paper books um, just because you, can't, you can only carry around so many books. So yeah, my, in my backpack, I have my computer, charger, my Kindle, um, just my toiletry bag, what else? Yeah, like just kind of the essentials and things I wanna have handy right away. Passport, of course, both German and American passport since I have dual citizenship. Um, good to have those both with me. So someone asked, have I ever forgotten one pair of gloves and missed it the whole time? So I actually haven't shown you my gloves yet because I'm waiting for my final gloves to arrive tomorrow and um, I like to make that at the very end, my decisions, since I love all of my gloves and so it's really hard. That's actually another one that I have a really hard time deciding of which gloves to bring and which gloves to leave at home, just because I think there's like a glove for every purpose. Um, I ski with Hester gloves and one of the problems actually is not forgetting one pair of gloves, but losing one glove in the winter and then being without a glove and having to figure out how to replace that thickness of glove. So. Later on in the vlog, I'll show you what I packed for my Hester glove set. Um, when I get the final bag tomorrow, I will then make my selections and go on my way. Another fun question. What is my one thing I couldn't go out this winter or traveling on the winter? Two things. I like bringing printed photos um, from, here are some actually some Polaroids from the summer. So I like having a little bit of photos and pictures to remind me a family and friends to put up along the road and then people joke but my teddy bear um, it feels nice to have something to snuggle with at night and I've had this since I was born so and it's been through a lot it's kind of hanging by a thread quite literally um, but this is a fun one and a lot of us have stuffed animals on the road next question which coffee roast is the big winner of the winter and that actually may even outdo my teddy bear in terms of what can I travel with can't travel without this winter and it's good coffee so my dad just roasted me back bash downstairs so let's see what types of coffee he decided to roast for me this year so I've come down to the kitchen here and I have two bags of Colombian here and then back in Boston I'll have another two pounds of Ethiopian and I love to bring AeroPress that's how I make my coffee all winter it's this collapsible setup um, check it out I'm not gonna undo it now and I grind my own beans every morning, so quality coffee every morning. So AeroPress, coffee beans, and grinder, um, and some tea bags of tea. And ta-da, it's all in one bag. Forgot to mention one last thing. I like to bring my cold air mask to protect my lungs. Um, that's another thing I like to bring. Okay, two more items that I think are really good to travel with. One. A little laundry bag keeps you organized just throw your laundry in there and then it's all together in one place and two one of these hand scales um, since we fly very often in the winter and travel it's nice to fill it up um, weigh up your bag and see how it is so right now I'm at 46 pounds but I have a few more things to add so it's a constant way take in and out battle so when I make it down to Boston um, tomorrow I'm going to make my final decisions in Vermont and packed up phase two complete um, saying goodbye to our wonderful land here and heading to Boston since got some doctor's appointments before flying out tomorrow and have some last remaining packages and things to be packed and to see my mom before I head out so yeah time to drive to Boston and then phase three
three of peak hacking begins. One thing that I didn't show in part two of packing was my sunglasses, which are super important, um, but I still have roller ski today, so I hadn't packed them all up yet and have been having a hard time deciding, but I think this is what I'm gonna go with. So I have Varney sunglasses. Um, they're my new sponsor this year because I wear it super imp uh, important to me and I'm always wearing sunglasses. So um, the choice that I'm going with this year are some clear hydrophobic, lenses for the rainy days. These are photochromic lenses for the days where maybe I'm in and out of the sun or want reactive lenses. These are sunny day vibes. Um, this is white out snowy, maybe overcast day where I need some eye protection, but not super dark. And then these are fun, cool rainbow. I wanna have fun with my uh, sunglasses day. And then in here are some glasses that are about to launch so I can't show you yet. And then I have a pair of casual sunglasses in my backpack already packed. So this is my sunglass setup for the winter. I have my rest of my Hester gloves ready in Europe. I'm taking some from last year. Um, the Tarfala is for just walking around and sledding, easy skiing. These are awesome for post-race thick. Um, I get really hot hands. So as you can see, these are all finger gloves. Um, then it's race gloves. Awesome. These are my absolute favorite, these gloves, the Windsopper Touring. If I had to pick one pair of Hester gloves to own forever, it's this pair right here. And here are my, my rain, my rain precip gloves um, that have Gore-Tex. <laughs> 